first pass of the day in this, the Black Creek where I was yesterday. Fish around these lily pads. Man, it's been kind of a tough morning for me so far. I had about maybe one other hit besides this, but it's been pretty tough. I'm casting along this little edge over here, trying to work these little pockets that are kind of more cleared out from these lily pads. Casting out, bring close to me, and then I felt something hit my lure, or I think I saw a wake even. Set the hook on it, and he started bringing me out, and he started going deeper with it. And I got hung up on something, and I thought I lost him. But when I started reeling in, I realized he was still on, and I totally made my day. You guys have no idea. But yeah, my second fish, I mean, sorry, my first fish on the Black Creek, my first bass on the Black Creek. Awesome day so far. Number dos. On oh, West Swim Dinger. Just fishing these lily pads still. I'm getting tons of action. Just, this is the only one that was able to get in the boat though. Good day so far. Just taking bass. Let's go. Third bass on the Swimninger. Over in the lily pads, as you can see, it's kind of thick, but there's a cleared out area. Casting around in there, and I had one hit it really, really at my kayak, and he got off, and I started flipping out, and he hit it again. Awesome fish. Jeez. I think it was on the lip, man. Look at that thing. Lip piercing. That's awesome. Swimming here just keeps on getting action for me. I'm loving it. So much fun out here. Still out here in these lay pads. It's kind of clearing out here and there. I think they actually went around and sprayed some chemical in these lily pads and that's what's killing them off because like theoretically right now these things should be full and you know it's a time of year where the lily pads are really at their strongest point but a lot of them are dying off and you guys can kind of see the, the little stems and all that stuff at the surface they're floating around so it's creating little pockets for me but yeah Oh, the bass. Probably the best one of the day. That's awesome. Oh, spit it. How's it going, everybody? Just got my kayak loaded up. Pretty fun day out there on the Black Creek. Once again, caught some bass on the Swimninger. Using that same technique that I used before, working the lily pads and just trying to find opened up areas where I can cast my lure around. I'm not really casting in it, like I might cast in it, I might cast over it, past it, you know, right at the end of it. But either way, I'm casting around it and there's bass over there hanging around and they're hitting my lure, which is nice. Like I mentioned, I think uh, they sprayed the lily pads with some chemical to kill them off. So that's why you saw a lot of them floating around. And yeah, so it's not as thick as it should be, but the bass are still there, thankfully. Luckily, they're not being affected by the chemical too much. My dad was asking me about that, actually. He was wondering if it, like, the fish could sense it, and maybe they'd, like, it would act as, like, a boundary or something. And I guess it does, in a sense, you know. They're not going to go to places that don't have coverage or don't have structure for them to hide behind. Especially here in the Florida sun, they don't have any eyelids, so it's really important for them to get some shade. But just some things that I've noticed and thought about. Um... But yeah, like I said, another wonderful day on the Black Creek. My dad actually picked up his kayak, so I might go home and go uh, see if he made a little like unboxing or whatever about it and might add that to this video. So that's yet to be determined. But yeah, I'm going to head on home. It's like 30 minutes and hopefully traffic isn't too bad. And then I'm going to probably go on a walk with my cousin and my mom and uh, go enjoy the rest of the evening. So with that being said, if you guys like the video, make sure to give a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions. As always, keep casting.
Hey folks, how's it going? I'm back here in the back patio with my dad. He picked up this uh, Vibe Skipjack today. Came in earlier this morning and he ran down the store to go pick it up. It's still in its casing. We we're waiting until it got cooled off uh, in the afternoon to make a video. So here we are. Um, like I said, he got the Vibe Skipjack. I believe it's a nine foot kayak. Um, we're gonna take some time here to start, you know, I guess doing an unboxing and unwrapping it to show you guys, you know, what we purchased. So we're super excited for this. And I think it's gonna be a great investment. So stay tuned and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's the owner of the uh, the Skipjack here, the dad, and uh, uh, my, my son Chad over here helping me open it up. I do thank you for that. And uh, you know, I was going to kind of give you a, a little rundown of uh, what, what, how, how I came about this Jack. I've been kind of uh, you know um, you know keeping an eye on stores and sales and whatnot, and uh, we just made a, a, a move, so uh, I had to pick up a new uh, you know kayak. So uh, I uh, went with this one because I went with this one because. Uh, I wanted to be able to get skinny, and what I mean by skinny is uh, I want to get into some like, some really tight areas, uh, you know, d d down here in, the, in the, the Florida waters. And some of the other kayaks that that I was looking at, I wouldn't be able to do that. So that's the reason why I went with this model here. I, I'm happy with the with, with the with my choice. Um, it, it has everything that I wanted. I wanted the, the molded handles that that, that are that are within the, the, the kayak, and also just the, the ability to um you know again just to kind of just be able to, to, to just pick it up and throw it in the truck and just you know hit the water i didn't want anything too heavy uh too, too confusing i just wanted something nice and simple and i think that I, I i achieved that so i'm really happy with my purchase and uh the purchase was made at uh at, uh, local dick sporting goods i had to order online because they did not have it in stock but i went ahead and ordered online and i picked it up there at the store and uh and I believe I believe that the original price is around 700 or north, north of there, but thankfully I was able to pick it up on sale. I picked mine up for 350 bucks. I think that's a great deal, um, considering you know what else is out there uh, for that amount and or higher. So I'm happy with my purchase. Yeah, like my dad said, we've been looking in the market for quite a bit, and he had some ideas that he was kicking around, and we finally came upon this and we thought this would probably answer all of those those uh, uh, things that we wanted to get and like you pointed out we had the molded handles which is such a game changer for us because in the past we've had handles that were kind of like screwed in and they've always gotten loose have kind of caused problems for us but now we won't be having that issue um, some things to point out and to look forward to is a you have this area here that you can rest your paddle on um, it's just something to kind of keep it out of your lap or keep it out of the way. Have these little areas to hang your feet on, you know, you can keep it at different positions. As you guys can tell, there's scupper holes right here. I believe there's scupper holes, I don't, definitely towards the back here. I'm not sure if there's anything underneath here. We'll have to check the bottom. So there's at least four scupper holes that we know of that'll help keep my dad stable and keep him from uh, flipping over, hopefully. And furthermore, there's two more storage areas, one in the back, one in the front. We keep a life jacket up there and keep a crate in the back or vice versa. And there's a nice little cup holder right here. And we're not really sure what these brackets are meant for, but we'll figure out use for them. Looks like an area to maybe keep lures right here. And uh, there's, there's actually four. There's four rod holders. You got one, two, three, four. I think that's really nice because my dad mentioned that he was either going to take out, you know, just, just a handful of rods, if that, you know, four tops. So I think this is going to be a perfect solution for him. Um, not to mention, the seat looks super comfortable. We're going to have to mess around with it and see which settings we like best on it. We'll probably add a, a cushion or two. We'll, we'll see um, after we take it out and, and get the full feel for it. But overall, like my dad said, we're very satisfied with this purchase so far. It came 
well packaged as you guys can see so we're not really worried that it was mishandled or anything and uh, something else I wanted to point out is this little hatch here it's got this nice hatch this is a repair plastic yeah. that's pretty awesome um, I guess if there's something comes up we can use this to patch it up which is really them being considerate to us I believe these are the scupper plugs so that way if we do want to keep ourselves dry we can um, and then this is also the little checklist that they I guess that they include maybe they do this back at the factory so we're gonna keep this handy but yeah this is a little bag in here that we'll be able to store stuff in like maybe a phone maybe some lures maybe a water bottle soda you know even though we do have a cup over up here we just don't know what we'll get into exactly but it's nice to have the options to store things that's for sure um nice and tight so i'm going to put this back in there in a moment it also came with more paperwork so that way we can register it and stuff which is nice and uh, as you guys can see it's not a full elastic band which is nice we can connect it we can kind of just play around with it to whatever liking we have and i think this is gonna serve us well out in the water so i'm pretty excited to use it i'm not too certain what this is for this looks like a little paddle holder which is yeah. cool um i know my dad personally he likes using that for his rods so that might be able to be a little rod strap as well and uh, you know so that way when we're tucking under piers or bridges or anything that's low you know clearance we'll be able to transfer that down and we'll be able to clear that no problem so it's a lot of fun there's a lot of potential in this that's for sure and we're excited to see what it'll exactly bring us and just all the monsters that we'll be catching out of it i'm already dreaming so all in all it's a great little vessel i think we're going to be super happy with it and uh if you guys were possibly looking for one of these you know in the market go ahead and go get it and tag me in your videos and uh, tell me what your thoughts are. And if you guys have any questions or comments, leave that down below and we'll try to address them. And I was telling my dad that we'll probably end up making another like review video on it. So that way, after we take this out a couple of times, he'll be able to give you his full thoughts and opinions on it. And maybe we'll have made some modifications at that point. We have yet to see. And uh, yeah, guys, so if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like I say, stated earlier, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave that down below. And uh, as always, keep casting.